Uh, and welcome to a very, very recommended tutorial. A lot of people have recommended me do this, and so now I'm going to do it because I don't feel like slacking off anymore. So this is Final Smash editing. Now obviously everyone has a different Final Smash, so really I could make a tutorial on how to edit every single character's Final Smash. But I don't feel like doing that because it's kind of something you should check out for yourself. I will, however, show you how to edit one so you can just understand what's going on. And this should give you a great idea of a starting point and just navigation around. And as always, this tutorial is largely based off my previous tutorials, so please go check this out before you check this out, because this is a fairly advanced one. I won't be going over a lot of stuff. I'll just be showing you how to do it. So, in the description, I'll have Captain Falcon's pack files. So download those first. Then open Fit Captain Final in Brawlbox. Now, in here is a lot of information. When you see miscellaneous data, that's don't even touch it, because there's nothing really in there. Don't even look at it. And if you ever see a model that's like this, you can right click and preview it anytime. This is actually Captain Falcon's uh, world, you know, the when he hits you, you fall on this track. We will not be editing this because if you changed it with anything, it would be pretty weird. It obviously wouldn't look as cool as the people who made Brawl made it look. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is switch out um, the Falcon Flyer for something hilarious. Giga Bowser. Because <laughs> me and my friend were talking about this and I laughed really hard because I was talking to him about something else but he thought I meant that I wanted to switch the Falcon Flyer for Giga Bowser. So it looks like Giga Bowser is running towards you really fast. So I'm just going to do that anyway because it sounds like a lot of fun. But first, to understand what is happening, you should really watch the animation. And there's a bunch. So in this one, the Falcon Fly just goes by. I believe this is the one where, yeah, it opens up. If you look, the hood. So that will look weird when we replace it with Gigabout. I will have the um, file for Giga Bowser's model data in the description as well. But for this, you will need to um, open a second instance of Brawlbox. File open, uh, navigate to where you have the model for Giga Bowser. You gotta find it. it should be G Koopa. Whatever that is. Hmm. Oh, I went into the wrong place. Okay, so you're going to have to find your character model for Giga Koopa, wherever that is. It should be fit gkoopa 00.pack. And in here, you have the model data. Now, this is important because. When you look at the model data for him, you got all these bones and stuff. They're obviously not going to match up with the Falcon Flyer's bones. So, for the model data, you're going to export the whole archive. So, export. Export it to your desktop or somewhere you'll be able to easily find it. Then go to your texture data, and this is where you also just go check out to see if anything is kind of weird, which is not but some models have built into their model data package all of their animations and those are very tricky to switch. You gotta like uh, reorganize a lot of stuff. Luckily this is not the case for either of these so just right click make sure that it's Ivy Koopa, which it is. Uh, export your texture data for him. 
go over here to text your data for the Falcon Flyer and find your texture here. Now it's the Koopa. Now go to your model data. Close it up because it's nice, nice and tidy. Place it with your model data over there. Check it. It worked. Uh, let's preview this for kicks and whistles. We got this big scary Koopa guy. Got all these crazy animations. <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna charge at you <laughs> sideways. <laughs> when you do Captain Falcon's final smash. And <laughs> I'm imagining this is gonna be pretty funny. So this is just one way to edit a final smash. Um, I might make another one in a bit, how to edit Mario's final smash, because his is a more, obviously every final smash is very different. And later we'll work on giving final smashes for one character to another character. But for right now, toy around with editing final smashes and I'll put the demonstration in the description. But yeah, this is gonna be really cool. And luckily this also will not affect gameplay because it doesn't really change the hitboxes or anything. So keep watching tutorials, keep learning. I hope you enjoyed this and check out the demonstration. Thanks.